Hello, dear listeners, and welcome to another episode of our whispered journey through history. Today, we delve into the fascinating story of the British Empire, an empire on which the sun never set. From its humble beginnings to its vast global reach, and finally, to its eventual decline, we will explore the key events, figures, and factors that shaped the rise and fall of one of history's most powerful empires. The story of the British Empire begins in the late 16th and early 17th centuries during a period of intense European exploration and colonization. Motivated by the desire for new trade routes, wealth, and the spread of Christianity, European powers set out to explore and conquer new lands. England, a relatively small and insular kingdom, soon became a formidable player in this age of exploration. The foundation of the British Empire was laid during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. In 1588, the defeat of the Spanish Armada marked a turning point for England, establishing its naval dominance and paving the way for overseas expansion. This victory not only secured England's maritime supremacy, but also fueled a sense of national pride and ambition. English explorers, such as Sir Francis Drake and Sir Walter Raleigh, embarked on voyages that led to the establishment of colonies in the New World. The founding of Jamestown in 1607 marked the beginning of English colonization in North America. The early years of the British Empire were characterized by a mix of adventure, conflict, and commerce. English settlers in Jamestown faced numerous challenges, including hostile relations with Native American tribes, disease, and harsh environmental conditions. Despite these difficulties, the colony gradually took root, supported by the cultivation of tobacco which became a highly profitable export. Tobacco quickly became Virginia's staple crop and its success spurred further colonization efforts along the eastern seaboard of North America. Meanwhile, in the Caribbean, the British established a significant presence driven by the lucrative sugar trade. The islands of Barbados, Jamaica, and others became centers of sugar production, relying heavily on the labor of enslaved Africans. The transatlantic slave trade, which saw millions of Africans forcibly transported to the Americas, became a cornerstone of the British colonial economy. The human cost of this trade was immense, and its legacy of exploitation and suffering continues to be felt today. Plantations in the Caribbean generated vast wealth for British merchants and investors, fueling the empire's growth and transforming the British economy. In 1600, the British East India Company was founded, marking the beginning of British involvement in India. Initially focused on trade, the company gradually expanded its influence establishing trading posts and forming alliances with local rulers. Over time, the British East India Company transformed from a commercial enterprise into a powerful political and military force, playing a crucial role in the expansion of British control in India. By the mid-18th century, the company had effectively become the ruler of large parts of India, with its own private army and administrative structures. The 17th century also saw the British engage in conflicts with other European powers over control of territories and trade routes. The Anglo-Dutch Wars, fought between England and the Dutch Republic, were a series of naval battles aimed at securing dominance in global trade. These conflicts, along with wars against Spain and France, shaped the geopolitical landscape and helped establish Britain as a leading maritime power. The Navigation Acts, 
a series of laws passed by the English Parliament aimed to restrict foreign competition and ensure that colonial trade benefited England. As the British Empire expanded, it brought together diverse cultures, peoples, and resources under its control. The exchange of goods, ideas, and technologies between Britain and its colonies had far-reaching effects. For instance, the introduction of new crops and agricultural practices transformed economies and societies in both the colonies and Britain. The cultural interactions, while often marked by conflict and coercion, also led to the blending of traditions and the emergence of new identities. The spread of Christianity, driven by missionary efforts, further influenced the cultural landscape of the colonies. By the end of the 17th century, the British Empire had established a significant presence in North America, the Caribbean, and parts of Africa and Asia. This period of expansion laid the groundwork for the empire's growth in the following centuries. The 18th century, in particular, would be marked by further territorial acquisitions and the consolidation of British power on a global scale. The Union of England and Scotland in 1707 created Great Britain, a unified state with greater resources and capabilities for overseas expansion. The new British state embarked on an ambitious project of imperial expansion driven by economic interests, strategic considerations, and a sense of national destiny. The British victory in the Seven Years' War, 1756 to 1763, was a decisive moment, leading to the acquisition of French territories in North America and India. The Treaty of Paris in 1763 solidified British dominance in these regions and the empire continued to grow. The 18th century was a period of rapid expansion for the British Empire. The establishment of colonies in Australia, the Pacific, and Africa further extended British influence. The American Revolution, 1775 to 1783, which resulted in the independence of the 13 American colonies was a significant setback. However, the loss was mitigated by the empire's continued expansion in other parts of the world. During this period, the British Empire also saw significant developments in governance and administration. The British Parliament enacted various laws to regulate colonial affairs, including the Navigation Acts and the Sugar Act. These laws aimed to control trade and ensure that the economic benefits of colonialism flowed back to Britain. However, they also led to tensions and resistance among the colonists, particularly in North America. The 19th century marked the height of the British Empire's power and influence. The Napoleonic Wars, 1803-1815, further solidified Britain's position as the world's leading naval power. The defeat of Napoleon at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815 left Britain as the unchallenged global superpower, with its navy controlling the seas and its trade networks spanning the globe. The Congress of Vienna, which redrew the map of Europe after the Napoleonic Wars, also recognized Britain's territorial gains and cemented its status as a dominant force in international politics. During the Victorian era, 1837 to 1901, the British Empire reached its greatest territorial extent. Queen Victoria's reign was a period of rapid expansion, industrialization, and cultural transformation. The empire encompassed vast regions of Africa, Asia, the Americas, and the Pacific. British explorers, missionaries, and settlers pushed into new territories, often encountering resistance from indigenous peoples. 
The scramble for Africa in the late 19th century saw European powers, including Britain, carving up the African continent into colonies. Britain acquired territories such as Egypt, Sudan, and South Africa, further extending its imperial reach. The British Empire was also marked by significant technological and infrastructural developments. The construction of railways, telegraph lines, and ports facilitated the movement of goods, people, and information across the empire. These advancements helped integrate the empire's diverse territories into a cohesive economic and political unit. The Suez Canal, completed in 1869, was a strategic asset that provided a direct maritime route between Britain and its colonies in Asia and Africa, reducing travel time and enhancing trade. Despite its immense power and wealth, the British Empire faced numerous challenges and criticisms. The exploitation and oppression of colonized peoples were central to the functioning of the empire. The transatlantic slave trade, which had been a cornerstone of the colonial economy, was abolished in 1807, and slavery itself was abolished throughout the British Empire in 1833. However, the legacies of slavery and colonialism continued to shape the empire's relationships with its colonies and their inhabitants. Resistance to British rule emerged in various forms, from armed rebellions to political movements advocating for independence and self-determination. The Indian Rebellion of 1857, also known as the Sepoy Mutiny, was a significant uprising against British rule in India. Although the rebellion was ultimately suppressed, it led to major changes in British colonial policy and the direct governance of India by the British Crown rather than the East India Company. This shift marked the beginning of the British Raj, a period of direct British rule over India that lasted until independence in 1947. The Boer Wars, 1880 to 1881 and 1899 to 1902, in South Africa highlighted the difficulties of maintaining control over distant colonies and the growing resistance to British rule. The wars were fought between the British Empire and the Boer Republics of Transvaal and the Orange Free State. The Second Boer War, in particular, was marked by brutal guerrilla warfare and the use of concentration camps by the British, which drew international condemnation. The conflict exposed the harsh realities of imperialism and the lengths to which the British were willing to go to maintain their empire. The early 20th century brought further challenges to the British Empire. World War I 1914 to 1918 had a profound impact on the empire, both in terms of human and economic costs. The war strained the empire's resources and weakened its global dominance. The post-war period saw the rise of nationalist movements in the colonies, inspired by ideals of self-determination and independence. The Irish War of Independence 1919 to 1921 led to the creation of the Irish Free State, marking the first major loss of British territory in the 20th century. During the interwar years, the British Empire struggled with the economic hardships brought on by the Great Depression. The financial strain of maintaining the empire, combined with the growing discontent in the colonies, made it increasingly difficult for Britain to sustain its global influence. The Statue of Westminster in 1931 granted legislative independence to the dominions of Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, the Irish Free State, and Newfoundland, marking a significant step toward the decolonization process. In India, 
The push for independence gained momentum under the leadership of figures like Mahatma Gandhi and Jawaharlal Nehru. Gandhi's philosophy of non-violent resistance and civil disobedience inspired mass movements, culminating in the Salt March of 1930 and the Quit India Movement of 1942. These movements galvanized Indian society and increased pressure on the British government to grant independence. The Indian National Congress played a pivotal role in mobilizing public support for independence and the British response to these movements often involved harsh repression and imprisonment of leaders. World War II 1939-1945 further accelerated the decline of the British Empire. The war effort required enormous resources and left Britain financially weakened. The United States and the Soviet Union emerged as the dominant global powers overshadowing Britain's influence. The war also spurred decolonization efforts as colonized peoples demanded independence and self-rule. The Atlantic Charter, a joint declaration by President Franklin D. Roosevelt and Prime Minister Winston Churchill in 1941, affirmed the right of all peoples to choose their form of government, signaling support for decolonization. The immediate post-war years saw a rapid dismantling of the British Empire. India, often referred to as the jewel in the crown of the empire, gained independence in 1947. The partition of India and Pakistan led to significant upheaval and violence as millions were displaced along religious lines. The end of British rule in India set a precedent for other colonies seeking independence. In Africa, nationalist movements gained momentum in the 1950s and 1960s. Leaders such as Kwame Krumah in Ghana, Jomo Kenyatta in Kenya, and Julius Nyerere in Tanzania spearheaded efforts to achieve independence from British rule. Ghana became the first African colony to gain independence in 1957, followed by a wave of decolonization across the continent. The Mau Mau Uprising in Kenya, 1952-1960, highlighted the violent struggles that often accompanied the push for independence. The British response to the uprising characterized by harsh military tactics and the use of detention camps drew international condemnation. The Suez Crisis of 1956 further exposed the limitations of British power and signaled the end of Britain's role as a global superpower. The crisis began when Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser nationalized the Suez Canal, a vital waterway for global trade. Britain, along with France and Israel, launched a military intervention to regain control of the canal. However, the intervention faced strong opposition from the United States and the Soviet Union, leading to a diplomatic debacle. The crisis underscored Britain's diminished influence on the world stage and highlighted the changing dynamics of international politics in the Cold War era. The 1960s and 1970s witnessed the final phase of decolonization. Many remaining British colonies in the Caribbean, Asia, and the Pacific gained independence. In 1965, Singapore separated from Malaysia and became an independent republic. In 1980, Zimbabwe, formerly known as Rhodesia, gained independence after a protracted liberation struggle. The transition to independence was often complex and fraught with challenges, as newly independent states grappled with issues of nation-building, governance, and economic development. The legacy of the British Empire is complex and multifaceted. On one hand, the empire facilitated the spread of ideas, technologies, and cultural exchanges across the globe. 
English became a global language and British legal, political, and educational systems had lasting influences on former colonies. The Commonwealth of Nations, a voluntary association of former British colonies, reflects this shared heritage and fosters cooperation among its member states. On the other hand, the empire was also marked by exploitation, oppression, and violence. The impacts of colonialism are still felt today, as former colonies grapple with the legacies of economic inequality, political instability, and cultural displacement. The process of reconciliation and addressing historical injustices continues in many parts of the world. The economic and cultural impacts of the British Empire are still visible in the modern world. The global spread of the English language, the adoption of British legal and educational systems, and the influence of British cultural practices are just a few examples of the lasting legacy of the empire. In many former colonies, British architectural styles, sports like cricket and rugby, and traditions such as afternoon tea have become integral parts of local cultures. The Commonwealth of Nations, founded in 1931, serves as a testament to the enduring relationships between Britain and its former colonies. Comprising 54 member states, the Commonwealth promotes political cooperation, economic development, and cultural exchange. While the nature of the relationship between Britain and its former colonies has evolved, the Commonwealth continues to play a significant role in fostering dialogue and collaboration on global issues. The British Empire also left behind a legacy of infrastructure and institutions that continue to shape the development of former colonies. Railways, ports, and administrative systems established during the colonial period have been adapted and expanded upon by post-independence governments. However, the uneven development and economic disparities created by colonial policies remain challenges that many former colonies are still working to address. In recent years, there has been a growing movement to critically examine and reassess the history of the British Empire. Scholars, activists, and communities have called for greater recognition of the injustices and atrocities committed during the colonial period. Debates over the removal of statues and monuments, the restitution of cultural artifacts, and the teaching of colonial history in schools reflect the ongoing efforts to come to terms with this complex legacy. In conclusion, the story of the British Empire is one of ambition, power, and transformation. From its beginnings as a small island kingdom to its peak as the world's most extensive empire, and finally, to its decline and decolonization, the British Empire left an indelible mark on world history. The Empire's influence can be seen in the global spread of the English language, the adoption of British legal and political systems, and the lasting cultural exchanges that continue to shape societies around the world. However, the legacy of the British Empire is also marked by exploitation, oppression, and violence. The impacts of colonialism are still felt today, as former colonies grapple with the legacies of economic inequality, political instability, and cultural displacement. The process of reconciliation and addressing historical injustices continues in many parts of the world, as communities seek to acknowledge and heal from the traumas of the past. The decolonization process that began in the mid-20th century was a complex and often tumultuous journey. Newly independent nations faced significant challenges as they worked to establish stable governments, build economies, and forge national identities. The legacies of colonialism 
including borders drawn without regard for ethnic or cultural divisions, left many countries grappling with internal conflicts and political instability. The British Empire's involvement in global conflicts also left lasting scars. The participation of colonial troops in both world wars highlighted the contributions and sacrifices of people from across the empire. However, it also exposed the inequalities and injustices faced by colonial subjects, fueling demands for greater rights and independence. The post-war period saw a wave of anti-colonial movements as leaders and activists mobilized to end colonial rule and secure self-determination for their peoples. The economic impact of the British Empire was profound, shaping the development of global trade and industry. The exploitation of resources and labor in the colonies generated immense wealth for Britain, but it also created patterns of economic dependency and underdevelopment that many former colonies continue to struggle with today. The extraction of raw materials, coupled with the imposition of cash crop economies, disrupted traditional agricultural practices and left many regions vulnerable to economic fluctuations. Culturally, the British Empire facilitated the exchange of ideas, art, and knowledge across its vast territories. British literature, education, and scientific advancements influenced societies around the world. Conversely, Britain was also enriched by the cultural contributions of its colonies, from the culinary diversity introduced through trade to the artistic and intellectual exchanges that occurred within the empire. This complex web of cultural interactions continues to shape global culture in the 21st century. In recent decades, there has been a growing movement to reassess and reinterpret the history of the British Empire. Scholars and activists have called for a more nuanced understanding of the empire's legacy, one that acknowledges both its contributions to global development and the profound injustices it perpetrated. This has led to efforts to decolonize education, repatriate cultural artifacts, and address the historical injustices that continue to affect former colonies and their descendants. The British Empire's legacy is also evident in contemporary political and economic structures. Many former colonies are now members of the Commonwealth of Nations, an organization that fosters cooperation and development among its member states. The Commonwealth serves as a platform for dialogue and collaboration, promoting values of democracy, human rights, and sustainable development. While the nature of the relationship between Britain and its former colonies has evolved, the Commonwealth remains a symbol of shared history and mutual aspirations. As we reflect on the history of the British Empire, it is essential to recognize the diverse experiences of those who lived under its rule. The Empire's impact was not uniform, it varied greatly depending on the region, the period, and the specific policies implemented by colonial administrators. Understanding this complexity is crucial for a balanced and comprehensive view of the British Empire's legacy. Key Figures of the British Empire Queen Elizabeth I Queen Elizabeth I's reign, 1558-1603, marked the beginning of England's expansion into overseas territories. Her support for explorers like Sir Francis Drake and Sir Walter Raleigh facilitated the establishment of English colonies in the New World. Her successful defense against the Spanish Armada in 1588 secured England's maritime dominance and set the stage for future imperial endeavors. Sir Francis Drake Sir Francis Drake was an English sea captain privateer, and explorer who played a crucial role in the early years of the British Empire.
Drake's circumnavigation of the globe, 1577 to 1580, not only demonstrated England's naval capabilities, but also disrupted Spanish maritime activities, contributing to England's growing influence on the seas. Sir Walter Raleigh Sir Walter Raleigh was another key figure in the early expansion of the British Empire. He sponsored expeditions to the Americas and attempted to establish the Roanoke Colony in present-day North Carolina. Although the colony ultimately failed, Raleigh's efforts paved the way for future English settlements in North America. Robert Clive The establishment of the British East India Company in 1600 marked the beginning of British involvement in India. Robert Clive, also known as Clive of India, was a prominent figure in the company's expansion. Clive's military victories, particularly at the Battle of Plassey in 1757, secured British control over Bengal and laid the foundation for British dominance in India. His leadership and administrative reforms were instrumental in establishing the company's rule over large parts of the subcontinent. Warren Hastings Warren Hastings was another significant figure in British India. As the first Governor General of India, 1773 to 1785, Hastings implemented administrative and legal reforms that strengthened British control over its Indian territories. His efforts to integrate Indian laws and customs into the colonial administration laid the groundwork for the British Raj. James Cook James Cook was an explorer and navigator whose voyages in the Pacific Ocean expanded the British Empire's reach. Cook's expeditions to Australia, New Zealand, and the Hawaiian Islands not only charted new territories but also facilitated the establishment of British colonies in these regions. His detailed maps and scientific observations contributed significantly to the understanding of the Pacific region. George Washington In North America, George Washington emerged as a prominent figure during the American Revolution, 1775 to 1783. As the commander-in-chief of the Continental Army, Washington led the American colonies to victory against British forces, ultimately securing their independence. His leadership and vision for the new nation were instrumental in the founding of the United States, marking a significant turning point in the history of the British Empire. William Pitt the Elder William Pitt the Elder, also known as the Earl of Chatham, was a key political figure during the mid-18th century. As Prime Minister, 1766 to 1768, Pitt's policies and military strategies contributed to Britain's victories in the Seven Years' War, which expanded the empire's territories in North America and India. His advocacy for a strong navy and colonial expansion solidified Britain's position as a global power. Queen Victoria Queen Victoria's reign, 1837-1901, was a period of immense expansion for the British Empire. Under her rule, the empire reached its zenith, encompassing vast territories across Africa, Asia, the Americas, and the Pacific. Her name became synonymous with the era of industrialization, cultural transformation, and colonial expansion known as the Victorian Age. Cecil Rhodes Cecil Rhodes was a British imperialist and businessman who played a crucial role in the expansion of British territories in Southern Africa. He founded the De Beers Diamond Company and served as Prime Minister of the Cape Colony. Rhodes was instrumental in the establishment of British colonies in Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe and Zambia, 
and his vision of a British-controlled Africa from Cape to Cairo epitomized the imperial ambitions of the era. Lord Curzon Lord Curzon served as the Viceroy of India from 1899 to 1905. His tenure was marked by significant administrative reforms and infrastructure development. Curzon's efforts to preserve India's cultural heritage and his focus on modernizing the colonial administration had a lasting impact on British rule in India. He also played a key role in the geopolitical strategies of the British Empire, particularly in relation to the Great Game in Central Asia. Mahatma Gandhi Mahatma Gandhi was a key figure in the Indian independence movement. His philosophy of non-violent resistance and civil disobedience inspired mass movements against British colonial rule. Gandhi's leadership in campaigns such as the Salt March of 1930 and the Quit India Movement of 1942 galvanized Indian society and increased pressure on the British government to grant independence. His legacy of peaceful protest and social justice continues to inspire movements for freedom and equality worldwide. Jawaharlal Nehru Jawaharlal Nehru was another pivotal figure in the Indian independence movement and the first Prime Minister of Independent India. A close associate of Mahatma Gandhi, Nehru played a significant role in mobilizing public support for independence. His vision for a secular, democratic India and his efforts to modernize the nation laid the foundation for India's development as a sovereign state. Winston Churchill Winston Churchill, best known for his leadership during World War II, also played a significant role in the later stages of the British Empire. As Prime Minister, Churchill was a staunch defender of the empire and its global influence. His speeches and strategic decisions during the war were instrumental in Britain's efforts to maintain its imperial holdings. However, Churchill's tenure also saw the beginning of the decolonization process, as the realities of post-war politics and economics necessitated a re-evaluation of Britain's role in the world. Kwame Krumah Kwame Krumah was a prominent leader in the African independence movement and the first prime minister and president of Ghana. Krumah's leadership in the struggle against British colonial rule led to Ghana's independence in 1957, making it the first African colony to achieve sovereignty. His vision for a united and self-reliant Africa influenced independence movements across the continent. Jomo Kenyatta Jomo Kenyatta was a key figure in Kenya's fight for independence from British rule. As the leader of the Kenya African National Union, KANU, Kenyatta mobilized support for independence and played a central role in negotiations with the British government. He became the first Prime Minister and President of Kenya, guiding the nation through its early years of independence and laying the groundwork for its future development. Thank you for joining me on this whispered journey through the rise and fall of the British Empire. The story of this vast and powerful empire is a testament to the enduring impact of history on our present and future. Stay tuned for more explorations of pivotal moments and figures in history as we continue our journey through the past. Until next time, take care and keep exploring the rich tapestry of our shared history.